Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara, and today I'm here with Ian, and we are going to do Black Mountain Part 2. So actually the first video that I filmed kind of exploring a certain area around the Asheville area was Black Mountain. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I've done Black Mountain, Hendersonville, Weaverville, Mars Hill, like Asheville itself, lots of different areas. And Black Mountain was our first one. And I feel like it was a, two years ago. Yeah, literally two years ago. And it's been a while since we've even filmed one at all. Um, and I feel like the Black Mountain one was pretty good, but we definitely skipped a few things. It's obviously hard to include everything in one video. Yeah. And we felt like with Black Mountain being a very popular place and one of our favorite areas, it would be worth doing a part two. So, today we are here in Black Mountain. We're going to start by walking around Montreat a little bit, which is a little, I wouldn't even call it a town, it's like a little village almost, north of Black Mountain by like seven minutes or yeah, something. Yeah, like, yeah, five, ten minutes, it's something like far. that. If you live in downtown Black Mountain, it's certainly no more than ten minutes. Not at all, yeah. And basically, in Montreat, there's Montreat College, there's a pretty little lake here, there's a lot of trails, there's a really cool playground. There's really a lot packed into one little area, and we actually came here in December. Uh, if you saw my kind of Christmassy December vlog, we went to a concert here that they put on for the public, and it was really, really good. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna just show you around a little bit, then the plan after that is grab some lunch, walk around downtown, and show you that too. So, okay. should be a fun day. Last time we were here, we actually saw a little otter bringing like branches and sticks to some little den. We never really found where he was living, but it was quite yeah. cute. We didn't want to disturb him though. No. This building over here is the Anderson Auditorium, and that is where we went for the little Christmas concert. Really pretty building inside, too. All right, we just finished up at Lake Susan in Montreat. Showed you a little bit of the college there and the lake. We really enjoy going there just to hang out, read a book, and a lot of people will set up their hammocks, as you saw, between some of the trees, and it's just a really peaceful area. And I feel like it's always a bit cooler because there's the water, but there's also a lot of shade too from the trees so we decided to drive only like five minutes north on the road and it actually dead ends into a little wilderness area so behind me we'll show you this this is like a little bird sanctuary around a lake it's very tiny but it's very quiet very peaceful and then also here so on this side of the road there is the Montreat wilderness, wilderness Center and there's tons of trails that lead up I think like towards the parkway. Yeah. I've never personally done them. I've heard some of them can be pretty strenuous. I'll show you the map so that you can kind of get an idea of what's here and then this road just that's a private residence back there. So they say when you come here not to use the app All Trails because All Trails has errors in it and people have gotten lost. So, so that's if you really happen good to, to stop know. by Montreat, yeah. Yeah, don't use all trails. Don't use all trails. <laughs> so here is the yeah, Montreat Wilderness. They have the rules and everything. This is literally how many trails are here. I can't even believe 21 trails that you can get to, which is just, yeah, quite extreme. But it's pretty cool. They show you the difficulty, um, yeah, how many miles, how much time it might take. So really, really helpful. And then here is the map, too. So let's see, where are we? Oh, okay, so 
this is where we were before. So the assembly That's in, this is, yeah, this is the lake where we were before. We walked around that a little bit and the college is within here. And then we drove up the road There's to here. There's a picnic here. area, I didn't even know. Oh yeah, a little picnic right area there. The stream. Yeah, and then that's where we are. Here's the little wildlife sanctuary. So, as you can see, quite tiny. Just this little reservoir here and then little trails around it. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness onto you and the storms their energy, while cares will drop off like autumn leaves. John Muir Right down the road from Montreat, there's also this little playground and it's cool because it's one of the old school ones that's still made out of wood. It's super peaceful here, it's right along the creek too and just really, really nice. So if you have any kids or anything like that, this is a really good place to take them. There are three creeks. The different equipment, there's like the slide, the boat thingy. Yeah, there's this cool boat. This is good to keep in mind when you're wandering around the area. Right next to the playground there are these tennis courts which look really nice and well maintained. I'll show you them. I'm not sure if they're open to the public or if it's just like a local resident type of thing. A lot of times, every time I've been here, there's always people playing. It's usually pretty busy. Yeah. But I think because it's a Sunday and it's also Father's Day today that there's just not many people. But yeah. Everyone nice peaceful prepared. setting with the uh, creek in the background too. Yeah. I yeah. think it is open. There's no rule saying it's not. No, I don't see. And the see. gate was open. Yeah, true. So it probably is open to the public. Oh, stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time. Morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful day. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Alright, we just finished up lunch at Cousins Cuban. I tried to film a little bit more than I normally do but it was really difficult. As you saw, it was very busy in there and we ate pretty late too, like 1.45, 2 o'clock was probably when we actually ate our food. Um, so yeah, it was very busy but I did try to film a little bit. That is by far one of our favorite restaurants, not only in Black Mountain, but just the Asheville area in general. I crave their food so much, and something to note is they are not open for dinner, so they are only open for lunch. And breakfast. And Oh yeah, breakfast too, like 9 to 3 every day except Wednesdays, I believe, like a random middle of the weekday. Yeah. But their food is prices delicious. Yeah, yeah, prices are good. We've had their breakfast food and their lunch food. I prefer their lunch food, but it's, yeah, honestly all good. 
I got the pork bowl, which as you saw comes with pork, like an aioli sauce, rice, beans, bread. I got a side of the yucca frites, I think. Yep, that's, that's right. right. Okay, I pronounced it correctly. And then what did you get? I got the salad and I added pork and beans. Yeah, salad with pork and beans. So that was really tasty. Definitely a favorite, highly recommend it. Now we're just going to walk around a little bit downtown. I'll show you a couple gift shops. One of, one of which is our favorite. We bought a couple different shirts there and they're really good quality. So we'll show you that. Show you the town square, which has some like really big rocking chairs because if you haven't seen my first Black Mountain video, I mentioned that Black Mountain is also called or their, their little nickname is the town that rocks because there are rocking chairs everywhere. So show you that and yeah, just see what else we can find basically. This is a brand new place that just opened called Foothills Grange and there's basically food, beer, music. It's a really neat place to hang out. We actually haven't been just yet, but I'm planning to probably do a meetup here with my Facebook group. So I have a Facebook group called Living in Asheville and I try to do monthly meetups, but honestly more like seasonal meetups to just come and hang out. So yeah, really neat place. You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest You're the leaves in mid-August And I've come out here to say also just noticed that Taco Billy is here. Taco Billy is also located in West Asheville and it's a really good taco place. I don't think that this location was open the last time we filmed so I thought it was worth mentioning. White Horse Black Mountain is a place right downtown and they actually have live music I think pretty much every night except Sunday. Some of it you have to pay, some of it is free, but it's a really cool place. I've actually been wanting to go here for a while. Every month over the summer they actually have a Celtic band that comes here and I've been really wanting to check that out sometime. So definitely check this out if you are in Black Mountain. I think most of the concerts are like 25 or less, but I'm not sure. Definitely check on that. But everyone that is going to be playing is listed on their website. So yeah, cool venue. There's some outdoor seating and then indoors is pretty big too.
Well, I officially have a new name for flip-flops. I decided to call them flop clumps because... Uh, That's the sound they make when they come apart in the woods. Yep. And I've already fixed this one today with a hair tie. But uh, yeah, I'm back to flop clump. This is a really cute cafe that we've been to one time in Black Mountain called La Guignette. And as you can see, they have a really cute little outdoor seating area. Indoors, it's basically like an old little house. And then over here under the trees, there's a little outdoor seating area too. And they have delicious food. They have crepes. And I think the other thing was what, tamales? Yeah, it's like a some attempt to blend French and Mexican food. It was very, yeah, interesting, but <laughs> their food was really good and the atmosphere is really cute. All right, well, we just finished up a pretty full day in Black Mountain. It's already 4.15 and we got here at like 11.30 in the morning. We've spent a lot of the day outside, so we're very sweaty and <laughs> sticky and yeah, definitely not looking as good as we did this morning. But, hey, speak for yourself. Hey, okay, you don't think I look as good as I did this morning? <laughs> Anyways, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. We tried to kind of include some outdoor things to do indoors and just show you a little bit more of the town than we did in the first video. So I did want to show you a couple things that we picked up. So we went into this gift shop called Bramblewood and we actually have never been in there before. It was kind of a little cabin themed gift shop and they had like a Christmas section in the back. But if you guys watched the thrifting video that I put out a couple months ago, you'll know that we were looking for a coat rack, just a very simple coat rack with like a couple yeah, hooks on it to put it, on the yeah. wall. And we couldn't find anything that was reasonable. Everything we found was like $50, $70, yeah. really crazy. So today, unexpectedly, not looking for a coat rack, we up, found- There you go, everyone we found, can see. Yep, this really it's adorable coat basic, rack. But it's a good- thing for a cabin or hunting lodge and that's kind of the aesthetic of our apartment that we're going for yeah we love like anything nature themed yeah. woodsy animals trees stuff like that so got this which is perfect for our entryway and it was literally ten dollars yeah. <laughs> ten dollars <laughs> would have been Brand 40 new. 60 bucks at yeah. the place where people go to get deals so go figure yeah so bramblewood in black mountain black mountain yep they had candles tea towels, uh, decor too, which they had some pretty nice decor in there. Yeah, definitely worth checking out that place. And then we also went to CW Moose, which we have been to a few times. We both have some shirts there, really good quality. They hold up well in the wash, don't shrink. I sound like an ad for them right now. <laughs> but we got, or I got this hat. I was honestly looking for one that was kind of like tan and like very neutral, but I have blue eyes and this one caught my eye and just, yeah, I think it, ends, it ended up looking really cute. Obviously doesn't oh, go with my current outfit. Imagine it with a t-shirt. There you go, yeah, yeah. So yeah, very cute, has three little like gold pine trees and this was only $19. So happy with that purchase too. There's even a whole bunch more that we didn't end up filming. Um, what else? There For is. people with kids, there's like a Black Mountain Adventure Center. Yeah. You could do laser tag. Uh, there's like escape rooms in it. Mm -hmm. There's like um, axe throwing, axe laser throwing, tag. Yep. There are a few other things there. Oh, there's a disc golf course if you're into that. Oh, yeah. There's um, that in Black Mountain. And there's even restaurants we haven't mentioned. Like there's Bushes, I think it's called Bush's Farmhouse around the corner. Oh, from we've where been we there. Are. Yep. That's good too. It's it's kind of interesting. <laughs> they have like burgers and like that sort of food, but then you're eating with the animals, kind of. Like it sounds worse when we describe it. Just look at the photos. It's cool. You, they separate the animals, but you're right next to them. You can see them. You can see them. Yeah. That you can hear the goats. Right. Buying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. It's it's a cool place. They have good food. Nice atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I don't know, there's a whole bunch we didn't even show. Basically, if you were to just drive through Black Mountain just with a car, you'd honestly drive through it in like two to four minutes and just be like, wow, okay, this this isn't very big. I don't know why people love this so much. But if you actually stop and walk around, there is a lot to it. Yeah, I felt like, the same way. The first time we ever mm -hmm. came here, we're like, huh, 
Like it's it's fine. I don't understand the hype. We came in February, which is like around here. It's the least pretty time. It was this in like would probably be February. Yeah, 2019. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, we just saw the like brick buildings and we were just there at a time when not many people were out Right, it was in like winter, the middle of the like, day or something. Not as pretty. We were investigating here, the it was, area. It was rainy too. Right, to see if we wanted to live here or not. Yeah. And so I, I wasn't really taken with the place at first, but it's really grown on me over time because we've had two years to process. There's a, and we see there's a lot going on. We discovered Montreat and all mm -hmm. the trails mm -hmm. and the wildlife reserve. So Yeah, it's very walkable. Mm -hmm. Like if you there's a lot of little neighborhoods that are very close to the town where you can walk to music. There's even a little um, natural food grocery store downtown yep. too. There's like CVS, like all the stuff that you really need in walking distance. So I really like that about Black Mountain and that's definitely I'd say one of the biggest draws of Black Mountain for a lot of people that come here because it's the most walkable town. And Miss Realtor, what would you say people need to buy a house downtown? Like 600,000? I'll fact check <laughs> myself. <laughs> I'll fact check myself because it changes all the time. But yeah, probably if you want to be within walking distance, you're looking in like the 450 plus range. Oh, okay. Not quite so bad. You can that was find cheaper, but they're going to be tiny and need a lot of updating. It's definitely, the prices here have definitely grown, and a lot of the reason for that is because around Black Mountain, as you could see from a lot of the clips that I took, there's mountain views everywhere, but yeah. because of that, there isn't much room for Black Mountain to really expand. So, like, due north of Black Mountain is ultimately Mount Mitchell and like the parkway so that gets steep quickly past yeah. Montreat past that trail area that we showed you you can't go any further so that pretty much stops there going south it gets very rural very quickly like very windy highway 9 is between here and Lake Lore yeah and highway 9 can be kind of treacherous in the winter because yeah. it's very shaded very windy um, yeah so I'd say maybe it could expand west towards Swannanoa, but aside from that, like, it's pretty compact. Homes are hard to come by around here. Definitely one of our favorite areas. Yeah, it's become that. Mm -hmm. And, well, you know, I'm starting to get sweaty, so I'm now really, it's definitely I, time to leave. Yeah, I am. I turn off my car and everything when we're filming because I don't want, like, background noise, but I am really warm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds good. Take care, guys. We'll see you. All right. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see next time, and I'll see you very soon in the next one. We just pulled up at home, and I remembered something that I wanted to mention in the video that I totally forgot about until now, and that is that Open Oven, which is in downtown Black Mountain, is one of our all-time favorite brunch and lunch places. And I actually featured them in the Black Mountain Part 1 video, but when we went there two years ago, they didn't actually have their expanded rooftop area. So I'll insert some clips of what that looks like. It's honestly beautiful. It's There are mountain views. You can basically have a mimosa and have your eggs benedict with a mountain view. And I want to say they might have live music sometimes. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... Honestly, the atmosphere is just gorgeous, and I thought it was worth mentioning. If you do go there on the weekend, though, especially around brunch time, there's likely going to be a wait. Probably not horrendous, but I do recommend going earlier in the day or on a weekday if you're able. But yeah, just wanted to include that in here, too. You're the road.